Hey everyone, this is Tickle, and in this video I'm going to be playing Enhanced Shaman, and I'm going to show you the different play style for Enhanced, and how I recommend maybe you pick it up and you try it out, because I know many people have been trying it in PvP and getting sloshed. It is definitely probably one of the squishiest melee that's out there. If you want to know my keybinds, if you want to know my builds, check down in the comments below. I have a guide for Enhanced, the rotation. I also have the keybinds macros down there too. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I like to play from an offensive and defensive offensive and defensive perspective because i think it's tough for people to kind of like understand like do i go into this fight and maybe die or do i not when do i pull back when do i not enhance is kind of a unique spec where i don't have that many defensives the tools in my tool chest are basically heals i only have astral shift as a defensive i have healing stream which is a very slow trickling heal um you know about 20 percent of my health over 15 seconds and then i also have healing surge Healing Surge is how I'm going to get most of my heals. That's why I've been running Swelling Waves, which is going to heal me additionally. But when I play this, I need to pick my battles carefully because my how offensive I am able to be without getting totally wrecked is going to equal how defensive I can be. It might sound weird, but what you want to be doing, oh my lord, is you have to be in the fray, meleeing and doing damage to be able to get Maelstrom Weapon Stacks to be able to get you're healing off, if that makes sense. If you don't know what Maelstrom Weapon Stacks are, again, recommend you check out the enhanced video. But otherwise, you're gonna be using most of your Maelstrom Weapon Stacks on heals. It's really the best way to get, um, you know, that's the only real defensive that we have. But in Shadowlands, a, a few things change, but not a whole lot. So here I'll use Lightning Bolt because I can, and there's not really anything else happening. I'll use Capstone, I'm gonna Sunder him into the Capstone. It's a good combo if you don't know it. I'm gonna use Tremor Totem because he's gonna fear soon. Oh, man. Okay, so, so, so here is a situation where I'm out. I'm out. I don't need to fight 11 people at a time, right? I'd rather go finish this guy off, and then I'm going to go back in when, when, it's, when I have some men. That's probably the offensive posturing you need to kind of, like, get used to, is when do you fight, when do you not? They have 5,000 people here. I probably shouldn't run in. I mean, but I'll run in. And the part of the reason is if they have a back line that's really strong, you're going to get hurt very bad. I'm going to use Grounding Totem. Use loss. I'd rather, like, it's really risky for me to go in there. So I think now it's a little bit better. They still have that back line of priests and mages that are going to do a huge amount of damage. Healing myself, or re-earth shielding. Now I'll go in. I'm going to go over. I'm going to try to hit, I, got, I guess I'll try to hit this, uh, this magi, I guess. Frost shocking him. Okay, he's doing that. I'm going to run by him. I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, my dogs. Ascending. This is my big DPS cooldown. Right now, I want to be as offensive as possible. So we're gonna go ahead. Okay, we're not. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to play. Okay. I need to target something first. I'm gonna use this. Uh, yep. And so that was that. So I can use my offensive, uh, you know, cooldowns sometimes. Uh, like when I feel like I'm gonna be able to get the full like 15 second value out of Ascendance or something like that. But in general, I want to pick my battles, and that goes for a lot of different melee. I'm sure, you know, some melees have more sustain in, like, groups than others. Like, for example, a Death Knight can stay alive even if fighting 1v3. And Enhanced Shaman doesn't really have that. I really need to be fighting, like, if I, I don't really want to go outnumbered, right? And, like, this is a not that great of a situation. It's 2v4, maybe 3v4 if I get over here, right? So he actually picked that up. That's, that's good for me. So now I want to be, I'm, now I'm in it, right? I can't really pull back at this point. I want to just keep doing damage. And that's something that people definitely need to get used to if playing a uh, Enhanced Shaman. Is right now especially, you cannot pull back. Once you're in there, you're in there. So I'm just going to keep going. Like this guy's, uh, you know, running away. So that's different. But if I'm in like a, a group fight, like if I'm over here and there's like five people, you can't really pull back too easily. So here, this is a... T okay, so here I'm, you know, outnumbered. Three to one. I have to kind of stay in it, though. I'm going to keep using my... I'm going to heal myself again. Like I mentioned, you're going to be using those heals, those Maelstrom Weapon Stacks on heals. Just doing my damage rotation. I'm going to cleave. Okay, he pulls me. I'm going to use my defensive cooldown using, um, you know, Healing Stream Totem. That's going to give me, again, that passive healing. This guy's not even paying attention to me. He's disrespecting me. Right? Storm Strike's hitting through that shield of his. Gonna cap stun. Okay, that sucks. So here I'm in a real big bad situation. Okay, no, I have, I have some men. I got some men with me. Some many men. You gotta be careful though. Enhance is definitely one of the classes that is susceptible for just getting flopped, right? You gotta be careful. And so here I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna use my doggos. 
Ooh, I dodged that. Again, you know, like, I, I need to be careful. I'm going to use Earth Shield. I'm going to heal myself. There's another guy here. Great. Again, now I have another heal available. Again, my heals are going to be coming from only healing when you have five Maelstrom stacks. Okay, that's how you want to do it. You want to basically be looking for fights where... You want to shear that? He's dead. You want to look for fights where you're at even odds. It's not a class that you can really go against, like, 1v3, like a Death Knight Windwalker, you don't have those immunities, those oh shit buttons, right? You basically have, you have healing, which is which is able to be used through being offensive, and you can't just get pummeled get and die. Like here, I'm going to take this orb. It's going to make me a target. They're going to come after me. So we'll see how that goes. But in general, pick your fights, okay? Know your DPS rotation, so you can do it without really thinking about it too much, okay? And then, um, yeah, don't die. <laughs> don't die just through healing and everything else right so it might make it sound like i'm being a weenie but basically when you're solo queuing as a melee you gotta be a little bit careful you could just yolo into every fight like this one okay we're, out, we're way outnumbering them right so we should be fine so i'll go in here i'll yolo i'll lust myself it's in a okay he's in a whatever so here when I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my defensive early right i'm gonna use my big damage i can't uh, so we're just slapping kids now though so in this BG, we're just dominating. So that's nice for us. But like, if I was to go into like, by the way, when I have this orb, I'm taking huge amounts of damage. So, uh, but I also deal a lot of damage. So if I'm able to stay offensive, it's it's feeling pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna probably die here. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're gonna run away. I'm gonna drop uh, nothing. Okay. Oh shit, we're dead. But again, the orb just makes me take more damage. So I can, you can see I'm doing a huge amount of damage. I'm able to stay alive because I'm trying to not just run into massive amounts of fights, but we're also just dumpstering the other team. So this is definitely one where uh, you, you got to be careful, but, you know, go with momentum. Don't stop. Uh, if, see, like, if I were to go into a fight and I was starting to get, I was at 50% health and I was like, dude, I got to run. We don't have anything that gets us out of a fight. We don't have a reset mechanic. You have to keep going. And if you go down, I mean, you're going to have to go for those Maelstrom weapon stacks. Okay? So, like, I don't have any Maelstrom weapon stacks. I'll open with the dogs so that it'll help me get it. I'm just going to keep my offensive pressure going. I'm going to lust myself. I'm gonna, yep. They're not really fighting too much. going to keep going. Oh, he, he made me juke. All right, so here, like, right. Like, I could like I could run away right now, but I can't. I just can't. So I'm, I'm going to use all my abilities in my tool chest. I'll use my defensive wall. I'll use my self-heals. Again, I'm able to pro keep procking these heals on myself. He actually, he should, he'll win eventually, right? But I'm going to make it hard for him. I'm going to stun him here. Again, every time I storm strike and I am able to get that, I'm out of mana now, unfortunately. But uh, that's how we want to run it. You don't want to run away. You don't want to run away. Run away will not work. But that's why you got to pick your fight so well. So anyway, that's the damage rotation. This build's pretty nice too. I, um, this will help you. The more storm strikes you get off, the more in there you are, the more healing you're going to be able to get off through Maelstrom weapon stacks. So that's going to be helpful. Now, uh, Enhance is probably the squishiest class in the game. It, there's no there's no argument there. It's probably the weakest uh, defensively melee that's out there. Um, the only one I'm trying to think, like, what even rivals it, but uh, there's not a whole lot. And that's mainly because we only have one damage reduction. Everything else is through healing, and the healing only happens when you're offensive. So that's why I'm saying, you know, don't necessarily run away like this guy. He is... Like, here, like, I can't run away. I have to stay in it to win it, you know? And now I'm able to heal once. I'm going to put my Earth Shield back up. If I were to run away halfway through that fight, he'd start doing a lot of damage to me. And I wouldn't be able to get those Maelstrom weapon stacks up. So here again, let's try to get into the fray. I'm going to go in the back line here. I think, you know, if I were to just go up to the warrior, he'd be able to do max damage to me. But if I focus on this guy in the back, I have interrupts. I have things that I can do to the back line casters that other people don't have as short of. Like a four, uh, 12 second reduction. Uh, um, a 12 second cooldown interrupt is one of the strengths of an enhanced shaman. So you can see here, I got a lot of kills, died two times, whatever. We are obviously doing very well against that team, so that's not a great example. But in other examples where the other team might be 
on the offensive. We have to pick our battles. I, if, if, for example, if, if I was the other team, I wouldn't have gone into the middle like that warrior would. I'd be around the edges. I'd be trying to find like 1v2 or 1 or 2v2s or 3v3s or 4v4 situations to fight on the enhance. Things will get better though, everybody, in Shadowlands. We will have some more tools in our tool chest. A rest a legendary that gives healing. Our healing throughput's going way up in Shadowlands. It's crazy right now. If you haven't seen any of that, check out the, the notes uh, that'll also be in the description. But let me know if you have any other questions. I've gotten a lot of questions like, yo, Tickle, how do you stay alive? How do you position yourself? And this is how, just the beginning of that. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see, play style, positioning, anything like that. And obviously, this is a battleground. Could do it in Arena too. So let me know. And thank you so much to the Twitch subs and the Patreons. I really appreciate the support. If you guys like this video or if you want to know anything else about Shaman, hit that sub button, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Recommend other videos, request videos like this one, and I'll make them. Oh, and if you want to see the other specs, kind of intro to PvP or legendary anything, check the description for more videos. Take care, everybody.